All right, let's get started. Thank you again, everyone, for attending. Uh, today we're going to be talking about our uh, Windows CE automation controllers. But first, a little bit about us. ICP DAS was established in 1993. Our headquarters is located in Sinchu, Taiwan. Uh, ICP DAS USA, that's us here in Lomita, California, was launched in 2001 to support the North and South American markets. We have over 200 R&D engineers, and we work closely with them to add new features to our products, develop new products, and to support our customers. Most of our products are Rojas compliant, meaning they are lead free. All right, before we begin the presentation proper, we'll go over our topics for the day. Uh, we're going to be talking about our Windows CE-based automation controllers. Specifically, we're talking about the WinPack 8000 series controllers. Uh, PAC stands for Programmable Automation Controller, and Win is for Windows-based. For reference, we also sell Linux-based packs and packs that run our C-based Mini OS 7. Uh, today's webinar is going to be a little different from the ones we've done in the past. The first half of the webinar is going to be a presentation on WinPack. We'll be talking about what WinPacks are, why you might need them, how they work, and what they do. In the second part of the webinar, I'll hand you over to my colleague Steve, who's going to show you a live demonstration of what these controllers can do using our WinGraph software. Uh, he's going to talk a little bit about programming the modules and creating projects in WinGraph. After the demonstration, we'll conclude with our usual Q&A session. So if you have any questions during the presentation, go ahead and type it into the chat bar, and we'll get to those at the end. Okay, without any further, further ado, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to assume most of you are familiar with PACs, but here is a brief refresher. A programmable automation controller combines the best features of PCs and PLCs into a compact package uh, with no moving parts. Today, we are going to be talking specifically about WinPack, our line of Windows CE-based automation controllers, and I want to take a brief digression to talk about the first part of that name, the Windows part. Uh, Windows Embedded Compact, or Windows CE, is a subfamily of Microsoft operating systems designed for devices with less memory than a desktop or a laptop. It was originally developed for PDAs and extremely low-weight laptops and has been used as the basis for several of Microsoft's handheld products. And today, thanks to its semi-open source code, it powers a variety of industrial computers and handhelds from uh, automation controllers to barcode scanners. The advantage of Windows CE is that it provides a very low-weight, stable OS that will be both familiar to users and easy to program on. Unlike a full OS like Windows 10, it's hard to crash Windows CE, and the OS itself requires uh, little to no upkeep. All right, now that you know the advantages of uh, CE, let's talk about our Windows packs, which share some of the same design philosophy with the OS. Uh, the design principle behind WinPack was to provide the form factor and reliability of a PLC with the flexibility, function, and multitasking of a PC. But the latest edition, uh, the WinPack 8000 series, the series we're focusing on today, goes a little beyond that initial design. WP8000 is made with the uh, flexibility in mind to work either as part of a large automation network or to be the center of a complete data acquisition and uh, automation system. And we'll get to some examples of how that works a little bit later. Um, and does this by including up to eight interchangeable slot I.O. modules so that you can have control room level functions and access to data at the point or points where you need it. But to make things a little bit clearer, I'd like to do some comparing and contrasting to uh, elucidate why our packs are the perfect fit for your industrial automation needs. Uh, PLCs have been around for a long time. 
They're usually a DIN rail mounted controller that provide automation functions for a single machine or system. The advantage of a PLC is its small size, low cost, and reliability. You can expect a PLC to do its job 24-7 in all sorts of environments for a very long time. You just can't expect it to do more than one job. They're usually mechanical and dedicated to doing a single program task. PCs offer the most processing power, can do a wide variety of jobs, and can execute complex automation functions and multitask. They integrate easily with data networks, but are not built for the environments where automation is most needed. They offer the most function and control, but are usually confined to the control center. They typically require maintenance in terms of hardware and software, and anyone who's been an early adopter of a Windows OS know that they require uh, patching and are still prone to crash. A uh, Windows CE-based pack offers the user a familiar, stable OS. They have no moving parts, and you can expect them to work 24-7 in a variety of punishing environments. The hardware is as powerful as it needs to be, offering the ability to multitask and a wide variety of programming options without the problems of a bigger OS. Unlike a PLC, however, a pack is powerful enough to automate multiple simultaneous functions while monitoring, logging, and displaying live data. Unlike either of the other options, many of our wind packs come with the uh, room for plug-in I.O. modules. The I.O. slots give the pack direct access to dozens of digital and analog channels. This allows you direct access to thermocouples, sensors, relays, etc., and uh, to program functions making use of analog and digital output. Unlike a PLC, WinPacks can run SCADA and HMI software, giving users remote and local access through touchscreens, uh, monitors, browsers, or just a keyboard and mouse. Now that you have an idea of what makes our WinPacks so special and what they can do, I'd like to give you an example of how they work. Uh, I mentioned earlier that they can work as part of a self-contained unit or as part of a larger system. For my first example, I'd like to show you a solution that we devised with a customer to make a self-contained portable pH detection system. Uh, this solution was devised several years ago for a semiconductor manufacturer and comprises a WinPack unit running Indusoft, a touchscreen controller, a PDA, and pH sensors. It uses an analog slot I.O. module to acquire data, logging it with onboard storage, and displays live readings on the touchpad. It accepts commands from the touchscreen and, and uses an onboard Ethernet port to connect to a wireless router for remote access either from the control, control room or on the PDA, uh, which is just using a browser to access the readings. And in this picture here, you can see how it all fits into one portable box. Next, I'd like to show you an example of multiple wind packs working together as part of a larger automation solution. This example comes from a steel mill in Sinchu, Taiwan. The customer needed one system that would monitor and maintain production temperatures within the plant and manage a network of IP-based security cameras. It also controlled a redundant emergency shutdown system that could be accessed locally and remotely. It worked by integrating an Ethernet network of security cameras with local sensor input. Uh, the wind packs monitored production temperatures within the facility, sending analog signals to raise and lower temperature in response to the live readings. Live data and trends could all be accessed locally through a touchscreen or viewed remotely from the control center. WinPack's comms network was then integrated with the Ethernet network controlling the IP security cameras so that everything could be fed into the same control room. WinPack, along with Indusoft, provided a stable and highly accurate platform for process control, production monitoring, and security monitoring, all while providing a remote emergency shutdown system. All right, our last example uh, is of how um, 
I'd like to give you a final example of how WinPack can provide PC level automation under any conditions. So my final example is from a customer in the agricultural sector. In this example, WinPack was used as an automated alarm controller for a uh, Chad beef carcass pasteurization cabinet, which is essentially a large machi machine that sanitizes several sides of beef at a time using near boiling pressurized water. Uh, under these potentially very messy conditions, WinPack allowed the ranch's quality control department to access and monitor the process in real time uh, using Internet Explorer and their land network. Uh, one cannot underestimate the value of accurate sensor data and reliable process control under the extreme conditions of industrial-scale food processing. Uh, this is an example of how WinPack, WinPack provides accurate data and reliable control under uh, somewhat extreme temperatures and in outdoor conditions. Okay, now I'd like to switch modes and talk to you a little bit about WinGraph. Before I hand you off to Steve for our tech demo, I'd like to tell you a little bit about what he's going to show you. Um, he's going to show you how to program functions in Win, uh, to program WinPack functions using WinGraph, which is a soft logic development software that you can use to program HMI and PLC functions. Uh, many of you may be familiar with Isograph. Um, but our support for that program is ending, and we, so we would like to show you uh, what our WinGraph software can do. So if you give me just a sec, I'm going to hand you over to Steve, and he'll give you a, a live demo. Good morning, everyone. Today we will show you a quick demo on WinGraph software and our WinPack 8000 series. So our WinPack family had considered three family. So WinPack 5000, WinPack 8000 series, and WinPack 9000 series. The form factor is different. You can take a look on the 5000. It's the smaller version, smallest version on, of our WinPack. And then we have our 8000 series. So we have multiple slots that you can put your remote I.O. modules into it. And then we have the 9000 series, which is the newest version and is with metal casing and robust mounting. Today I will be showing you how to use the WinPack 8428 CE7 with 87064. W slot relay output module and a multifunction slot IO module. So this, as you see from the table, you can see there are pre-installed software. So none means there's no install software but you can use .NET, C Sharp, C++, or other programming language to program, to create a program development into a WinPack. And other software such as Isograph, IndieSoft, and WinGraph are pre-installed in the WinPack. So WinGraph software is replacing Isograph Let's take a look on the WinGraph software. So this is our WinGraph software. It supports multiple PLC language that you can program. The most common one would be a ladder diagram or function board diagram and structural text. So today I will show you the ladder how to use ladder diagram to program the WinGraph. Also, we have a soft graph XMI software. It's used for creating graphic on WinPack.
So right now I'm remotely connected to my WP8428. This is the desktop on the Rimpack. It looks like an old school um, Windows XP. As you see, you can use the pack utility to configure the module. For example, you can change the display resolution, IP configuration. It has two LAN ports. Right now, I'm physically connect my computer to the LAN one and assign IP address so that I can connect and able to download the program into WinPack. Uh, you can go to the device information. It will show you the basic information of this WinPack. So this is a WinPack 8000 series. And I have two slot modules which is installed on my uh, uh, WinPack, which is the 64 relay module and the 26 is the multifunction IO module. So this is the auto execution page. So right now I have one program which will auto execute when I put up the wing pack, which is the wing graph driver. I will show you how to download the program, wing graph program into the wing pack in a moment. Yeah, you can also see which slot is has the IO module installed. So right now I've installed the 64 um, on slot one and 26 on slot two. Let's go back to Wing Graph software. So this is how Wing Graph software look like. This is the program I created. I will show you how to create a brand new program. So first step, you can go to file and add new project. Of course, you can create a brand new project, but in my case, I will do from template. It will have an ICP dash green pack template. Demo two. Next. From the template, I can do empty project or select from ICP DAS template. I will do ICP DAS template because it has pre configured on some of the parameters that I don't need to create from scratch. Okay. So this is our demo number two. You can see. This is a pack time. It will read the, the time that is sent on the wind pack. So okay, I can also create another project, a program. I can right click the program and then click insert new program. So as you can see, you can select on different PLC programming language. Like, for example, function block diagram, letter diagram, structural text. Okay. On the portion, I can add my I.O. module. So if you click on the I.O. box icon, you can see a bunch of different slots. So I can add my 64 87064. You just need to find from the list. 64 DO, you can see it's eight channels relay module. Add it. Once it's add, you can close it and look at the variable table, you will see the 64 IO module are added into the variable, just like tags. And then after that, I can create a function block. 
here, you see insert function block before, insert function block after. I can do add function block before, and then you will see a function block, and you double click on it, you will see all kinds of function in the list. So the basic one could be addition, subtraction. Um, I can do data type conversion, like to Boolean, to integer, to real. Um, I can do counter. Um, even gate, like all gate, and gate, XOR, and then off timer, on timer, though those can be selected. So we add this and then so this from the variable table you can that representing the number the channels. So this is channel zero, channel one, channel two channel four up to channel seven, which is the eighth channels on the 64-87064 relay output module. Again, I can just drag it into the output and then right now I don't, I didn't add any input. So this, it will trigger doesn't have any input to trigger the timer. So it will start the timer automatically. And then here, the PT would be the time, the timer you want to select. So I can do um, T dollar sign two, that means two seconds. So after two seconds, the queue will be on and my relay will be triggered. So it will turn on the, the relay channel zero. So from, also you can create some global variable or retain variable, which is the internal register or internal memory. So some global variable, for example, would be the time that is set in the impact. So it's always available for you, for user to create, edit into their function block. Okay. After you finish your letter diagram, you can download that into um, your impact. So let me close this demo too first, and then let me open the demo number one I created. Let's see, let's close. So this is the full version of Green Graph. Let me, I will explain the demo, what's the difference between the demo version and the full version. Okay, let me open my demo one. Okay, so this demo I created a simple um, traffic light demo. So it used the on timer and then after one second, it turned on relay one uh, and then the relay one, you trigger the second timer to turn on the relay two, etc. until all the lights are on then I set the new variable, which is my retain variable. And then it go over and over again. Okay, after finishing your project, you can do build all project under project tab. So and make sure there are no error detected 
at the end. So it is very ready to download into my WinPack. Okay, then I can click the online button here, or I can also do control F by to connect to my WinPack. So before that, you need to make sure you have the correct IP address. So if I go to my pack utility and IP config, I can find my IP address here. And then I will enter that IP address into the communication parameters. So this one, I've already entered that and I click OK. And then when it turn it online, it will show connecting. Hmm. Try again. Oh, here, demo one, demo, use low, okay. Okay, right now the wind is online and I can see my relay is turning on, on, and then turn it off and going over and over again. So you can see the status of your contact and coil in real time. Now we open contact, now we close contact and the coil. And if I want to do an online change, I can click on this, continues. I can actually change the status of my normally open contact. I can, right now it's closed, I can turn it off or on. Or I can physically turn on my relay without running the, the, the project. And then if you want to download the project, you can click the download button here. And then select which project you want to download. So I want to do demo one, click download, select which WinPack you want to download it into. So this my, the 230 is the one I want to download and then click online, you will see a run and then all the, is turning on and off. So this is how WinGraph works and how you download the project into your WinPack remotely. You just need to connect to the, your WinPack through the ethernet cable. And let me show you the difference between the demo version and the full version. So if you go to user menu and quick start guide, you will see more information and the quick start guide gives you information on how to uh, create a demo program for the first very first time. Okay example, how to install the software, how to create a new project, how to use the letter diagram, and how to add variable. It will have step-by-step -step instruction. So it's really easy to use. It's much easier than using the isograph, which is the old 
ladder logic program. So it has two operation mode. So the demo mode will be, you will show it's a no wing graph dango file. So right now I have a wing graph dango plugged in to my computer. So it's running the regular version. So if it's demo version, you're still able to run it, but the, it, they are limited to 40 IO tags and the compiler will stop after 15 minutes and you can use the simulation for 15 minutes also. So the regular version, it doesn't have any limit. You can create as much as IO tags you want. It also gives you some information about like program area, message area, which will show the uh, error messages if you have any. And then the workspace will be how to navigate your project. Other than this, you can create multiple program because unlike PLC, Ring Pack can run multiple program at the same time. So I can disable one of them or enable all of them. Depends on how many programs you want to run on your WinPack. So I can also navigate through uh, the global variable, variable, data types. I can also create Okay. Oh, let me stop it first. Yeah, after you stop it, you can create insert new program. For example, I want to do structural tags. I can do by two structural tags. And then you can execute, is it the main program or sub program? You can do sub. Okay you see light to, and then it gives you um, a program area. You can type in your structural text here. So it's pretty much the, how wing graphs work. So Wing Graph can only install on your computer, but in Wing Graph Pack, if you look at the desktop, you see Wing Graph is pre-installed in the corresponding Wing Pack. So when this one I'm using is 8428 CE7 Wing Wing Pack. So it has Wing Graph P install inside. So what you need to do is turn uh, run this program. This is the Wing Graph driver. So after it's run, the the project you downloaded from Wing Graph software will automatically run on your Wing Graph, even though you won't see any graphing. But the best thing of Wing Graph is the Wing Graph, you can add the soft XMI. Let's see, the soft graph XMI to display graphing or maybe value, um, trend, uh, automation that you want to show on the WinPack CE7 desktop. If, if you have any question or you want to look at the feature of the Wing Pack Graph, you can go to this web page, icpdas-usa.com slash win underscore graph. You will see all the feature that Wing Graph can give you. Okay.
Let's pass it back to Colin and then he will sum up the webinar for today. Thanks, Steve. That was really, uh, really helpful. Really good information in there. And in my opinion, any presentation, including the word dongle, is a good one. So let's uh, just go ahead and wrap things up. Um, let's see. I wanted to give you all another look at the selection tables to kind of get an idea for the features of the different Winpack models. These are the Winpack 8000 models. Those are the rack mount ones that we've been talking about with the uh, remo with the uh, removable slot IO. Um, so this is just some of the selection. And then these are the 9,000 models, the uh, metal casing rack mount versions. And then these are the DIN, this is a handful of our 5,000 family uh, DIN rail mounted modules. And these do not include uh, slot IO, but they, uh, they do have um, an expandable IO board uh, that will give you some options, but not as many as the uh, rack mount modules. Okay, um, I hope by now I've impressed on you just what our wind packs are capable of. They are a highly flexible, powerful, and reliable class of controllers that can perform a variety of data acquisition, control, and automation functions. Um, at this point, I would like to open it up to the audience to ask any questions. Uh, we still have Steve here on the line if you have any more technical questions. And you can go ahead and type those into the chat box or the uh, questions box. All right, it looks like we are uh, not getting any questions. So um, if you happen to think of any, please feel free to e email us at sales at icp-usa.com. If you're interested in purchasing one of our controllers or have any questions, please feel free to call us uh, at any time, 8 to 5 Pacific time, or email us 24-7. Uh, if you like what you've seen here today, please give us a like or a follow on LinkedIn and Facebook. Uh, that will make it easier for you not to miss next month's webinar, where we will be talking about our IoT controllers, uh, specifically their use in industrial agriculture. Uh, but again, thank you all for coming. Our contact info is on the screen. We're going to leave that up for another couple seconds, but uh, thank you. Thank you very much for coming.